Assalamu alaikum students welcome to biology class this is me miss sofia yakub from aps boys sal code today is 28th april tuesday 2020 and it's week 5 let's recall the previous lesson we studied about biological method and its steps biological method is the method to solve the biological problem we studied about the steps of biological method that is recognition observation hypothesis deduction experimentation summarization and reporting of the result we studied recognition and observation in detail in our previous video as our topic is solving a biological problem in this we are studying about the method to solve the biological problem and we have already revised the steps of biological method in the start of the video our objectives are students will be able to describe the characteristics of a good hypothesis and define deduction before studying these steps in detail let's understand all the steps of biological method with an easy example that will help you to understand all the steps easily this is tim tim is playing outside the home he is observing few of the birds and he is wondering the bird he is having at home can fly or not after coming home tim is observing his parrot and then he got an idea to solve the mystery using the biological method tim thought about the first step that is recognition then he is writing down his question that is can parrots fly in the second step that is observation tim is observing his bird and the birds who are flying outside the home now he is noting down his observations that both are birds both have wings but he has not seen his parrot flying on the basis of his observations tim is now thinking about to make a hypothesis hypothesis is a statement on the basis of observation now tim is noting down his hypothesis on the basis of observations that birds have wing and they can fly now on the basis of hypothesis tim is trying to make a deduction deduction is a logical conclu conclusion on the basis of hypothesis so he is trying to draw a conclusion on the basis of his hypothesis tim made a deduction that if birds have wings and they can fly then parrots should fly too as they have wings now tim is going to perform an experiment experiments are done to check if the hypothesis is correct or not to check if all the birds including parrots can fly he took his parrot out of the cage and now he is happy to see that it is flying now he is noting down the result after doing the experiment that all the birds can fly including parrots now let's study about hypothesis in detail hypothesis is a tentative explanation of observation tentative means about which we are not sure as this statement is made on the basis of observation we made now let's see the characteristics of a good hypothesis a hypothesis should be general and a simple statement it should not be complex it, it should be testable testable means that we can perform a test or an experiment on it and it should be related to our observation we made now let's study about deduction deduction is a logical consequences of hypothesis logical consequence of hypothesis mean that it is a statement which is drawn from hypothesis it is the conclusion which we made in our mind while making deduction we use if and then for example if the birds can fly then parrots should fly too we have used if and then in this statement let's have a recap we studied that how tim solved the biological problem using all the steps of biological method then we studied about hypothesis which is a tentative statement and then deduction 
which is the logical consequences of the hypothesis. Hopefully, you understood the topic clearly. Now, there is some assignment for you. The first question is describe the characteristic of a good hypothesis, and the second is define deduction and its importance. Answer of both the question you can find in the video. So watch it carefully.